Okay. So to get this uh, secondary on, you want to put the strip. There's a ceiling strip. Oh shit. Put that strip on there. Figures I'm gonna have problems with it. Getting the sticky stuff off. It's got holes in it, you just line it up. Now, remember I took four screws out there, so actually. Let's throw two screws in this, the bottom ones. four screws in it, it wouldn't have fell into place like that so for the time being I'm gonna throw one screw in this my little baffle. So, take that screw out of there. And you got this one where you can just put the screw in halfway. down towards the heat exchanger, not like this. You don't want it like this. Not like that. Like this. Slide it under my screws. I gotta get my coupling box on. Using just regular silicone. It's good up to 400 Fahrenheit. And I know I'm not running 400 Fahrenheit in here. At this point. I've used this for years. And I've never had the cock fail on me. So if you give me a if you give me a comment saying I need to use high temperature cock, I'll disagree with you and tell you I've been doing this for 20 years. So the 
this is my coupling box. There's two screws. So these two are at the top. Make sure you only screw that one in. Because this one you're going to have to unscrew the baffle off the other heat exchanger. kinds of different screws they give you in this thing and half of them you don't even use. Okay, right here, right here, there's only certain models that use that, we're working on a 58 MVC, so it says remove block off plates on all models except 58 MVC, so I need those plates on there, they stay on this one, I'm working on infinity, so just keep that in mind. Anything that's non-variable speed, take them off. Anything with variable speed, it says right in the manual right here on these little baffles. And also... There's another plate i got to make sure that... Yep, there it is. That plate I was talking about in my other video. That plate, I gotta make sure this one, this one probably has one, it's got a plate, so I'm gonna have to put it in between the secondary and primary when I take the other one off. So, as it is right now, we will wait until we get the other one out of here and to get those plates on. I'll be right back. Well, I couldn't get any more video on this heat exchanger, but the only thing we really missed was uh, putting um, the plate in between the secondary and primary, that one plate that I was telling you in the manual that's got to be there that doesn't come with the kit, or doesn't come where we don't order, and side baffles um, not a big deal um, really easy to get on there's only like you know what two screws on the front and two screws on the on the back for the side baffles and two screws into the secondary heat exchanger for the back baffle that goes in between them so I tried to get as much as I could on video I hope you guys enjoy it or I hope it helps people, you know, because these things are a pain in the ass to put together, as you can tell. Um, but I'm actually doing another one tomorrow. So, yeah, it's been uh, the week of the heat exchanger. 
I don't even know what today is. Tuesday? Yeah, I got another one tomorrow, so that's three this week I've done. So, alright guys, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.